Welcome to the Ripple Effect by the Alliance. We are committed to raising the frequency of our planet. We'll discuss hot topics, share practical tools and sacred frequencies to reveal the magic in your life. Come, Come laugh, laugh, cry, and, and have fun with us. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the Ripple Effect pod with myself, Sarah. Hana and Stacia, we are so excited for this episode. We have some things to celebrate. I have a wedding coming up in um, like 10 days from today. Um, oh my God. episode is dropping. I know it feels like something that was just, you know, when you have something like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. And now it's here. And it's like, oh my God. And more exciting news. Hannah and I are finally going to meet in person. She's kind of athletic. I'm so excited. It, I think I actualized it into reality. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're so excited. And we'll, we'll, Stacia will be there in spirit. But yeah, I'm so excited. So there's so much to celebrate. So we want this to be like a celebratory um episode but also at the same time as you can see from the title human doing versus human being when we're when we're doing the things and going through the motions there's lots that come up and that inspired the topic of this conversation today um and then we have a little bit of an update to share with you at the end so first let's freaking celebrate I feel like we should have confetti or something. Yes, champagne, <laughs> confetti, champagne, the whole thing. Like I have stuff <laughs> next to me. But um, yeah, I think it's so neat. Like, I feel like I've met you both. Like, I feel like because we see each other online, like I feel like, you know, we know each other so well. Um, but I'm going to be a mess. I know I'm going to be a mess <laughs> when I can actually like we've we've hugged energetically but when I can actually like give Hana yes. a hug, I'm going to cry now <laughs> and see you in person. It's just um, like, it just makes the day extra special. Right. And it's already uh -huh. a special day. So I'm so, so excited. It feels like a dream. I'm like, I'm pinching myself like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Episode. And especially because it took too long, right. For me to be able to pull it off. And to, for That's me to be so. able to confirm, right? Yeah. Because I was like, I'm going. I made a decision. I'm going. I just had no idea where I was going to be or how at all it was going to happen. Like a month ago, you were in Mexico, right? Yes. Well, no, in Nashville already. Like two months ago, oh. I was in Mexico on my yeah. way to Nashville. Then you were in, in Nashville. Then I went to Nashville for a month. And then and I came now. over to Philly. And now I'm like, I'm I'm the closest I've been. That's true. And uh, we're literally seven hours, seven and a half hours apart driving. Yeah. And so Pico and I are driving up there. So <laughs> <laughs> you know and and it was I just like <laughs> i'm gonna yes i'm i'm actually gonna do this and um yeah. and I, a week ago i wasn't even sure no no right it was like I and then it, and you know what it was funny because when you mentioned that you were maybe going to come i'm like and you're like oh when do you need to know for like i'm like you're i'm putting you on the list like I put you on the list, like you were already coming. I'm like you're coming. Right. I told the caterer, like it was just like it's like it's done. She's coming, even though it wasn't certain. I'm like, no, she's putting her. I'm putting her on the list. My dad's like, we're putting her on the list. <laughs> if she doesn't yeah. come, he's like, I'll have two dinners. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like we're. It was just. It was like. It wasn't like oh, I'll wait and add you after. It was like you're coming. Right. It was. We all decided. Yeah. This was going to, it was a done deal we, when we made that decision. Mm. We've just been allowing the decision and the logistics to catch up with us. Yes, exactly. Right, Because I just had no idea how it was going to happen. I thought I was going to have to go to New York and stay the night there and then drive from there. Because I thought it was closer driving from New York. It turns out it's closer from my, where I'm sitting right now. Yeah. And it's like two hours closer. 
Wow. So yeah, I would because have we're that. literally on a straight line. <clears throat> And it's interesting because when I was in Nashville, I was on a vertical straight line apart from Stacia as well. Yeah. And at one point, I was like, I am going to drive there mm-hmm. and surprise Stacia. But it just it just didn't happen. The baby was too small. Noel yeah. was like, please don't leave me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so it kind of didn't happen. But I was like already putting it in my plans to just eventually make my way up there Um, because you know I have no fear of driving long distances anymore remember the first time I did that that journey yes and remember I told you how scared I was when I went to pick up Violet yep yes yes I was so scared and now I'm like just get in my car and go (laughs) it's so (laughs) different so so this is really 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 exciting yeah and um but the reason that we wanted to have this particular episode is to to catch everybody up in in terms of what is happening in our lives Mm -hmm. how we've how we've um how we approach life right what are the things that we actually do ourselves Mm -hmm. because we've uh, one of the my philosophies, and I think it, it's, and I, I know it's your philosophy as well. We will never tell someone to do something or give someone advice on something we haven't tried mm-hmm. or we haven't proven at least that it works for ourselves. It may not work for the person, but we know that at least what we're saying is we're standing fully in our truth. Yeah. And, and so today is really important for us because we wanted to put um, you know our followers up to speed with what is like happening in real time as it happens Mm -hmm. and we are really transparent with everything that we do I think we from the start we're like we don't know what we're doing but here we are yeah and so we've been learning as we go along um we don't have an uh, we've never had a um a challenge or a problem coming up with content that is what is extra for us right yeah some i i know so many of my friends are like well i want to do a podcast but you know i wouldn't know what to talk about with us it's like we have like sarah has this notebook with pages and pages of (laughs) right idea. idea after idea after idea she just like writes it down oh this one this one this one as we're, we're speaking mm-hmm. even in the middle of episodes she's like oh this is a good one and she, you, you know you go you write it down yeah and so that has never been an issue but here's the thing in order to have things be successful sometimes we have to do stuff that is not the stuff that we like that is not the stuff we excel at and we must put ourselves in a situation of discomfort because success lies right outside of our comfort zone. And it was getting very comfortable for us. We've been at this. Can you believe this? We've been at this for six months. Mm-hmm. I remember the two days before we launched because it took us two days to launch. From decision to launch. <laughs> oh, man. So when we make a decision and we say go, that's it. We go. Yeah. But then we started putting our content and we were so happy about it. When we even, when we edit the episodes, we're like, oh, that was a good one. Oh, I learned so much just from listening to each other during the episodes when we least yeah. listen to these episodes we're like man that was good yeah wow that's practical if if people really take these tools to heart their lives could really change yeah. so we're giving putting out a lot of content that is of value to us that has helped us that is practical that is easy and simple that people can just implement right then right now and, and have some result, have some change. But there are things that we need to do in order to grow. 
And I think this is that moment when we've decided that, right? We've decided to um, give Sarah some grace because we're so used to working and working and putting out content. We have not stopped when we've not missed one week. We've had one or two replays, mm -hmm. right? In the whole six months. And um, we, we continue to work each week to put out fantastic content. But we do want to grow. We want to grow our audience. We want to grow our reach because we believe in our hearts that what we're putting out here is, is important. It's important. And someone out there needs to hear this. And someone out there needs to implement these tools and say, my gosh, I did this and it changed my life. No, definitely. Um, we, <laughs> I, I'm just thinking, and like when you said it was six months, I was like, no. <laughs> but then I'm like counting the episodes in my head. I'm like, oh yeah, that does make sense. Um, and we we talked about that, right? We could just keep going and keep putting out content, um, or we could take a moment to really reflect and analyze and. And look at the data, as I'm sure Stacia's happy with. <laughs> and just look at it and be like, okay, like, do we just keep going? Or do we really, um, what do we want this to be? And we had a big conversation, like, like, who are we trying to reach? And like, what is the impact we're trying to have? And like, what is our podcast? Because when we started it, like we said, we, from idea to launch, it was two days. So we had an idea in our mind of what we wanted. But now having um, done like 20, almost 30 episodes, 28, I think we're at, um, and and really looking at, um, you know, how did the flow go in the episodes? What are the things we talked about the most? What are, what are people most interested in? Um, who's jumping on our live videos when we do them? Like really looking and analyzing everything um, from like that business kind of mode perspective and looking at like, okay, where do we want to take this? And do we want it to be like, have more of an impact? The whole purpose of it was like to have this ripple effect in people's lives. And we want to reach as many people as possible, right? We want to really take this seriously and, um, and have like, like a global reach, a bigger impact. So what we're doing now is really looking at, okay, how can we do that? What are the things we can tweak and change? What are the things that we really like about what we're doing and that the audience really likes that we can um, keep doing and do even better? And then what are the things that we can add in? How can we reach people better? How can we engage everybody better? Like all of you listening, you know, we want to connect with you more. We want to have things that um, it's not just once a week. It's like how keeping you up to date and and giving you actual tools that you can take away and, and run with, whether that's things we post on our Instagram or, um, you know, I think we talked about like our quote of the day. You always have such a good quote of the day and it's like hidden in the episode. It's like, let's bring that out to our Instagram. There's so many ways for us to connect with more people because we do have gold. Like we were saying, a lot of our content that we share is stuff that could be paid content. Like they, this could be paid programs that we're teaching. But we want to like this is stuff we just want to share with people that we believe is important, um, and and for us to just keep it in a, a small scale with like I feel like it's our VIPs that we have that are currently listening, um, and they're like they they're like what do you call them our OGs our like our our fans or whatever that that we're are so dedicated and we're so grateful for. Um, but we want more people to be able to experience that because that's what this is about. It's not like, it's not just like, okay, we're having a little ripple in a little goldfish bowl. It's like, we want this to be a big thing. Um, and, and for the purpose of like having a bigger impact, because I think all of us feel like everything that we're sharing, oh, it's so good. It's so high value. It's stuff that's changed our lives. So we're just like, like so hungry for to reach more people. Um, and that's what we're really taking the time with. So we really want to be mindful and thoughtful because we went into the, I feel like this was our beta round. <laughs> like we had our beta moment and it's like, okay, now let's do this like with full, um, 
we had full intention before, but with real um, thought behind it with, with organization and um, I don't know the right word, but just like really the process with a process, process that, that wraps around the actual episode. Yeah. Cause our content can be fantastic, but if nobody sees nope. it, if, if it's, it's falling on deaf ears, then what's the point. Right. And mm -hmm. so you're going to see um, a lot of change, like good changes coming, big things coming uh, more connection with you guys. But it, to do that, we need to, to take a little time behind the scenes. So what we've decided to do is we've picked our favorite episodes um, and we're doing, we're repackaging those. Um, some of our earlier episodes and some of the feedback we got, some of them were a bit longer. So we're repackaging a couple of our favorite episodes. Um, we have some new insight that we're putting into it. It's not just like us putting up an old episode. You're going to hear from us. Um, <clears throat> why we think that episode is important, why we think you should re-listen to the repackaged version of it. And we're going to be sharing those with you uh, over a couple weeks. Then you're going to start to see new content coming out and we're really going to be um, getting excited, prepping you guys, and we're going to have um, a, a whole reboot, a whole reboot podcast party, whatever you want to call it, episode. Um, and and you're going to feel a whole new, like I woke up feeling, we've been talking about this, but today I woke up feeling like I've shifted into that new energy. I've shifted into that new space. Like this is next level. This is like, I can't wait for people to see and hear what we have. We have a really cool series plan for everybody um, with the three of us. And I'm really excited for it. I think everybody, I think our current listeners are going to love it. And I think it's really going to draw in a lot of new people. Um, but yeah, to do that, we that, that's what we're doing. Now, I will say this. We, we never take breaks. But next week, we're doing a hiatus. And these ladies are so kind to me. <laughs> and they're letting me fully embrace the week before my wedding. Next week is my wedding. And this sort of takes us into the topic of human being versus human doing. And I really was getting into the mode because I'm this generator and go, 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 where I was really getting torn between taking the time to just enjoy the last couple of weeks of, and like, there's lots of stuff that comes up in the last couple of weeks of planning a wedding um, before my wedding and just really soaking it all in and enjoying it because it's like a once in a lifetime thing for me. But I was really getting torn with, um, but there's stuff I should be doing. There's, there's podcast stuff, there's business stuff, there's work stuff, like there's things I should be doing. And I was having that guilt creep in and it was the, the, the programming of like, no, I got to get stuff done as opposed to giving myself that grace and saying, no, it's okay. That stuff's going to be there in two weeks, a week from now. Um, the, it's not going to all crumble in on me. If it does well, then it wasn't very stable to begin with. And, um, and I can have that time. And these ladies are so kind and now I'm going to cry, <laughs> but it, you guys are so generous. It was never even a thought of being like, well, no, we got to do this or got to do that. It was it. That's it. Immediately. You guys were like, we're giving you that time. Like it wasn't, there was no, um, no, you got to be doing this, got to be doing that. And it instantly, I'm going to hand it over to state, um, Hana, because you said it so beautifully, it was like instantly you're like, it's that energy of like having to do something instead of just being in the moment and enjoying it. <clears throat> Definitely. Um, we, you know, we, we all have these programming. And depending on what culture we were born into, uh, what country, I even pinpointed to what block you were born in, right? Um, your upbringing will mark you, will give you the rules, the, the steps of how we have to be, what we have to do, how we have to behave. And one of the things that happens is that we're, especially in the West, we are told that we have to do, 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 
do, do, and 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 do, until we crash and burn, until we're sobered out that we can't do anymore. And then we collapse. And then we pick up the pieces. And then we start again. But we take ourselves just to the limit where we are useless, frankly. Right? And nowhere, at least I was never, I, I never felt that I could um, just sit there and not feel ashamed, not feel like I was being lazy, right? My ex-husband used to say, you need time to contemplate. You need time to dream stuff. You need time to envision what you want to do with your life because if you're just doing, then then you're just acting by impulse, by reflex as a as a you're not responding you're reacting to life and then life is going to take you wherever it wants to take you because we don't take the time to make that decision right we don't say i'm going to canada how am i getting there i don't know i just know i'm going right and then the same thing with you it's like you are taking that time to enjoy your wedding because i keep telling you guys it's like when you plan a vacation, you best start enjoying it the day you decide to go on vacation. Because the day that you leave is going to come so fast. If you wait to enjoy it until the day that you leave on your holiday, that holiday becomes so darn short. But if you start enjoying it from the moment you make the decision to go, then you extend that, that time. And you're going to like juice it much so much better but but the thing is that you know when when we're entrepreneurs business owners if we don't work and we don't generate then the money just doesn't come or so we think right and sometimes taking that break, enjoying life, getting all the juice out of it and just being in that energy is going to give you renewed energy. And when you come back, you're going to create, you can even have quantum leaps at each time because you come back and, and you had a flash of inspiration or something happened or you gave yourself the grace to have a conversation with someone instead of running and say, no, I can't talk to you. I'm busy. I'm running. I can't. I don't have time. Because in this country, nobody has time for anything. Um, I come from Mexico. In Mexico, there's always time for everything. People work all hours, and they still go home, shower, and go out to dinner at 10 o'clock at night. That's why people have dinner at 10 o'clock at night. I don't think it's because they want to. I think it's because they're juicing life. And it's like, if I work till 7, and I have to go home and, and uh, shower and get ready... <laughs> and I leave at 8 or 9.30, I'm going to be, be having dinner at 10. I'm going to do it because I'm not going to not have time with my friends, not have time with my family because I'm working. So time kind of stretches. And we're all on this same time where time is just, it lasts longer in Mexico. I don't know how it is. It just stretches. Um here like i remember my mom would call me and ask me to do stuff for her and i'd be like oh this 20 years ago right it's like oh my mom's asking me for stuff again and i don't have time i'm always running and i have to do this and i have to pick up you know my daughter at the school and and take her to the after school things because we all have to have all these activities because we can't just like go home and chill um and then there's the other extreme right when people just like go into the Netflix and the thing and they don't do anything. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just regular people who who want to create something and are investing their, themselves into creating a business, a dream, a goal, something. So for me, it was not even, it was a no-brainer that we weren't going to do anything next week. Right? And if we had done an episode, 
we would have played it, but uh, we would have we would have recorded it. But as things have evolved, we just don't have one. And I was like, no brainer, because I'm not, I am not going to be part of taking the joy out of this time for you. Like, I don't want to be that. Plus, I need time to get there. You know, I'm taking, <laughs> yeah, and I'm, yes, exactly. I'm doing it in, in, instead of, I could do it in one day. And I'm like, I'm just going to, you know, take time. My cousin is coming with me. We're going to make it an enjoyable thing. It's a, an exciting thing. I'm yeah. happy that I have someone that's coming with me to enjoy and partake in, in, in celebrating you. Yeah. So for me, it's also like, yeah, let's just have fun. Stacia has had such an intense time right now that it, she can really use the holiday as well, right? Yeah, so sure. what's going to happen is we're going to come back and we're going to be like, all right, we're on, we're on fire now, right? Yeah, and and it just and we talk about like taking care of herself and and self care, and mental health, and mindset, and all this stuff, and it's like it's okay to give ourselves that time, like give ourselves this a space a break in between right and enjoy it and soak it all in and you're 100 right i when you were talking about that i was thinking of last year when i was on i took a vacation and i came up with this like i had this idea come to me and i it was i called it the coconut effect and it was so like i was like oh my god this this hadn't wouldn't have come to me if i hadn't have been like just taking that time to relax and enjoy it and everybody loved it like everybody just soaked it up and like just it was such a fun thing to do and everybody you know participated and like I posted it after you know but it was like it came to me because of that and if I had to just kept going and pushing and pushing and pushing I don't think I would have I don't think that would have come to me because it wouldn't have had the space right so exactly because when we be we open the space and one of the things that I'd like our viewers to consider if they haven't ever because <laughs> some people haven't um, we're already, so people are, spend their lives looking for their purpose, right? And I, I talk about how it's like F purpose, right? Because a lot of people spend their entire life looking for their purpose and they never find it when they were the purpose all along, just being, just existing. Because if supposedly there's thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of souls waiting to come into this dimension. So just being here, we already accomplished the purpose. The purpose was to get here, right? But there's beautiful views. There's beautiful landscapes. There's beautiful food and, and flowers and chocolate and, and artistry and creativity. There's so much stuff in this world that we don't even take the time to appreciate or look at because we're so busy putting our head down and working for when we retire, for when we get to this and when we get to that. And that, you know, um, I think I've told this story uh, a few times, maybe uh, remind me I'm getting old. Uh, <laughs> but um, where my, when I got married, my husband, all he would say is when I retire, I want to buy a sailboat and live in a sailboat and sail the world. And I was like, have you ever done that? Have you ever lived in a sailboat? Have you ever been sailing? No. How do you know you're going to like it? Well, I don't. Short end of the long story is we ended up living in the sailboat. He hated it. I loved it. And then it was the end of the story. Because he realized and he, he always thanked me. And he said, I would have wasted 35. I said, because I told him, you're going to waste 35 years of your life to find out that you don't like something that you spent your entire life working towards. I thought that was the stupidest thing ever, <laughs> frankly. And I was like, well, that's stupid. If you want to do it, let's do it now. And he was like, what? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't, I, I'm not going to be with someone waiting for 35 years to do something that then you're going to say, Oh, I don't like this. Yeah. I kill you. I kill you. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So let's do it now turned out to be a fantastic experience for me. But in the same way, 
we don't give ourselves the grace to do what we dream, what our soul is calling us for us to do, because I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I have to work. I have this responsibility. I have to take care of this. I have to take care of that. And we keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And there's no other time but right now. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You know, I find it very interesting that this is the human doing versus a human being, because as we go along and we are going through the motions and we're getting so, so many things accomplished, the universe is knocking like, hey, I heard you ladies talking about this change that you're desiring. And things just started heating up as far as needing our attention in other places. And it was, and it's, it's really interesting that, you know, we really needed to take a little bit of a a hiatus and, you know, not only for just your, your good and and enjoyment, but to also refocus yourself and, and give yourself that pause to listen to maybe these, this internal voice that we, we kind of don't hear. Yeah. when we're just going through the motions and just getting things done and, you know, patting ourselves for all these accomplishments when it's like, there could be so much more, so much more fulfillment available to you when you do take time to just say, you know what, I'm just going to go sit in the grass for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a mega vacation or it doesn't have to be being on a sailboat. It could just be giving yourself a little bit of time I used to put in my um, my calendar, I would schedule an alarm to just take a couple minutes of a break. Mm. And sometimes people just need to know that because maybe they don't understand that, that that time for yourself is always available when you're open to it. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, when I get my messages, I'm so connected to water when I'm showering. That water touches my skin, touches my head, and I'm like, spark 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 and it's the water giving me the messages it's as i come in contact with that water mm. i'll hear stuff i'll know stuff yeah. it's like i'll be there and i'd be like ah, i usually keep a notepad and a pen by the by by in the bathroom because i know i'm gonna be coming out it's like yeah. soap in my eyes i'm like i need to write this down <laughs> because i forget everything and yeah. i'm like i need to write this down and and i'll come out and it's like i put it down on paper the paper's wet you know the ink yeah, is yeah. like running but i i in those moments i get these flashes of inspiration yeah. now do you viewer friend of ours know when your flashes of inspiration come Mm -hmm. and do you take the time to do more of that some people go and put their feet on the grass yeah and ground themselves right it could be touching the earth it could be gardening you could be doing gardening and you get your flashes right but if you don't know this today could be the chance that we're 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 basically giving you permission to go find out where your flashes come. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what is the thing that you do that only you do where you're going to be in contact? It could be that you love to meditate. It could be that you love to exercise. You can go for walks and listen. You know, it doesn't all have to be static. No. It doesn't have to be sit and meditate which I'm a proponent of. <laughs> yes. That's really, you know, it's like that has changed my life. But it, but I also know that when I'm doing a spinning class and spitting my lungs out, my mind doesn't have the time to be so active because I'm just literally surviving. Yes, yeah, survival. <laughs> and mode. in that moment, it's like when my brain is just in the survival mode, I will get that flash. I also take when I go to spinning class, I'll take a notepad and and I'm getting off the bike and I'm like writing stuff mm. down furiously. Um, and then I get back on the bike because I had this flash of inspiration. So we all have a different way of accessing our deeper calling and our, our messages. And sometimes we don't give ourselves that grace. Like, do you, are you a person that just starts looking out the window or at a wall and it just like flies away yeah, and almost, through yeah. whatever. And, and did you have your school teachers tell you come back down to work? Yeah. Like, 
for me, it was like, where, where are you? Come yeah. back here. Get back in, get back in the classroom, get back in the thing. I'm trying to teach you stuff and you're not paying attention. Right. Yeah. For me, it's being so. out in the sun. But now I'm wondering, cause you like when you said water for you and I'm thinking sun, I'm a Leo. I'm like, Oh, this is <laughs> cause aren't Interesting. you, aren't you a water sign? I'm a Pisces. Yeah. So, I'm a fish. And I'm Leo, so it's fire. Of course, I want the it's sun. The I mean, sun. Like, yes, give me the sun. Wow. What about you, Stacia? That's where, like, well, energizes I'm, me. Yeah. I'm an air Gemini. sign, and um, I find it really interesting. I don't have a lot of earth in my chart, and I feel more in tune with the earth. When I'm outside, mm-hmm. I usually have my, my shoes off. Yeah. I like to be by the water. I I I use all of the elements really. Mm-hmm. I bring all of the elements in. But you know, you don't have to you don't have to do everything grand. It's like yeah, you don't have to start with, with water when the yeah. sun is in the west. what feels good, you know, <laughs> what feels good for you and just allowing yourself that pause to be. It's so important to just be, be with yourself. Yes. And I, I think that sometimes we don't trust ourselves. Like, well, I got this idea, but why would I, you know, why would I come up with that? And, and then we just go on, you know, doing. And you'll notice, though, if it's something that you're really, really supposed to be doing, you're going to start to see obstacles appear in your path because the, the universe, your higher self, whatever you want to call it, God is telling you, take a break so you can get back on the track that you really need to be on. Uh, well said ladies <laughs> shall we jump to our quote of the day Stacia and then we'll we'll give just a little quick re- recap of what's going to be happening next <laughs> quote of the day okay well for the quote of the day I, I got a quote from uh, Roy Bennett and he is an author that like an inspirational author I think he passed away in 2018 but it's perfect because we're talking about changing. We're talking about growing. And it says, it's, it's only after you step outside of your comfort zone that you can begin to change, grow, and transform. Uh-huh. And that is just so important. You know, you've, you've got to be able to allow yourself that, that pause to listen, but also that trust in, in you and, and your higher power that when you do move forward, when you step outside of that zone that maybe you've created for yourself, Mm -hmm. there are so many magical things out there waiting for you. Yeah. You had mentioned um, the lady who wrote the book about, you know, the regrets of people who were dying or top five regrets. Yeah. Top five regrets of the dying. And I'm like, yeah, that I, I, (laughs) am I going to look back on my deathbed and be like, man, I hammered it out and got shit done the week before my wedding. Or like, am I going to look back and be like, I took the time to enjoy all the little things and the little moments and the people who are like coming and, and, and just like not even get caught up in the details of the wedding. It's like, once the wedding's here, it's here. And it's just enjoying like the people who took the time to want to actually be there for us and celebrate that. And that's what I'm going to look back and be like, oh, I'm so happy I experienced that. And not like, oh, everything was well executed on wedding day. (laughs) Like, you know, get out of my planner brain, get in my heart. That's well, and right. imagine looking back and saying, wow, I was able to trust me mm. and I created this life that was so beautiful mm. and so enjoyable, you know, instead of always waiting for someone else's plan for you or, yeah. or waiting to, to just be where you think that, you know, well, I should be doing this. So I'm just, you know, I'm not going to listen to this divine angelic voice that's coming to me every time I step in the shower. That just seems silly, you know, just imagine that feeling like I really, really enjoyed this life. And that's where I want to be. Yeah. And and this lady, Bron- what was it, Bronwyn or Bronner? But she was working at this at these end of life uh, places, right? And started asking people, "What is your biggest regret?" And she came up with like five main regrets that people would have. I worked too much. I didn't spend time with enough time with my family. 
I didn't do what I wanted to do. Yeah. Like I had a dream and I substituted it for, you know, work doing a job that I hated and, uh, and two more things, but it's like, I always tell you, and I know it sounds morbid, but place yourself on your deathbed and look back. Yeah. Look back this week and see, am I going to be happy if I were to lie on my be deathbed today? Looking back, did I, did, am I happy with what I've done? Yeah. Am, I, am I happy with what I've created? Or I've got work to do and I've got things to change and I've have a life to live and I have things to enjoy yeah. as opposed to, you know, continuously getting on that hamster wheel. Yeah. You know, and that's, that I think that's one of the things that ties us together mm -hmm. that we, we, we do what we love and love what we do. <laughs> yes. So coming up, we will be, um, as I mentioned, next week, there will not be an episode. Um, we're going to be enjoying all the things. We're all going to be enjoying life. And um, then, yay, yes. And I wanted to point out my mug. It's it's from front, the one where Sarah gets married. My aunt got me that. My aunt is also my maid of honor. Which I also have this huge box behind me. And she created an advent calendar for me. So every day I get to open up a present. And like she's just one way above and beyond. So that is so cute. Today is, and it was very fitting. It said to wash your worries away. And it's a little rose that is actually soap. Like the little petals are soap. So that is so awesome. So I'm taking time to just enjoy these things. Like the, the special things. And because um, there's. Now that I have this countdown, I know every day how many days are left. So I'm I'm enjoying it all. So next week, we're going to be enjoying it. And we invite you to take time next week when you would normally listen to this to go do something like Stacia was saying, go do that thing that, you know, like just lets you be you and, and relax and enjoy yourself. And it doesn't have to be a big wedding, <laughs> but it can be like going outside or just taking that time for yourself. So do something um, for yourself next week. And then we will see you for our repackaged episodes the following two weeks. And then you will see all the stuff coming out for what we have planned and our reboot. And I'm really excited for all that. So yay. Yay. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you everybody for listening. We appreciate you so much. Um, we hope you will share this episode, let people know that something's coming and that we're going to be um, having, you know, some exciting new content that I think people will really like. And you're going to get to know us each a little bit better, I will say, what we do and why we do what we do. And yes, like rate review all the wonderful things stacia says at the end so beautifully in our uh, outro and we will see you all on the next episode thank you for tuning in to the ripple effect by the alliance with hannah martinez stacia stove and sarah jane lita we hope you're now vibing high and ready to create your own ripple Drop a comment or email to let us know the ripple effect that you are creating. Music by our very own Hannah Martinez and music production by Onel Moulet. Follow us on Instagram at the Ripple Effect Pod for more high vibration content. Please rate and review us wherever you listen. Until, Until next time. time.